Here with senior cornerback Trey Williams, Northwestern State, coming off a of bye week. Trey, uh, feel a little more rested this week? Yes, sir. Well what'd, you, what'd you do during your bye week? Um, I went to see my family and got to catch up with my grandmother. Haven't seen her in a long time. Family very important to you? Yes, most definitely. The most important thing besides God. For you, uh, what did that do? A chance to go home? Did you get to kind of refresh, kind of relax, just mm, get some good food? I got some good food for, for sure, but I kind of got to re refresh too, just get my mind off of football. We've been going for a long time. Now we back at it today. Eight weeks without a bye week. How how nice? Do you feel like it came at the right to the bye week came at the right time? Yeah, I feel like it was perfect time. Like it, we just been going hard for so long, and for us to be in the position that we in and the bye week to hit when it hit, then yeah, it was definitely a great time for the bye week. For you guys, you talk about the position you're in, three and zero in conference. You head to Texas A&M Commerce uh, this weekend. For you guys. Uh, What's it feel like? I mean, you've been here. This is your sixth year here. Yes, sir. Uh, it's kind of a new feeling for you. Do you. Does it kind of reinvigorate you to go out there and and? Yeah, it's a it's a pretty good feeling to know that we control our own destiny and that um, the conference championship is right in our reach. It's just it's a good feeling. It's a feeling that we haven't felt in a long time here. When it is a new feeling, how important is it for guys like you and guys like Gino, guys that have been here for? five, six years to, to keep these younger guys focused and to also, you know, let them know how important it is that you do control your own destiny. Yes, sir. It's, it's great, actually, like, to see change and to know what we've been through and how far we've come. It's, it's a great, it's a great feeling. How much sweeter does it feel knowing you've been through that? It's, it'll be way sweeter if we um, were to Finish the job? Yeah, finish the job. That's what I was trying to say. But right now it's sweet. We're just living in the moment, taking it day by day. How important is that to be able to focus singularly on just one game and not worry about the next two? Um, that's what we always do. We just never look ahead or anything. We can only focus on the task that we have in front of us. New feeling, new position for this group. Very new opponent next week, a team you haven't seen in Texas A&M Commerce. Uh, what have you guys seen from them? What do you expect from them? Uh, we expect them to throw the ball. I, honestly, I expect our defense to make them one-dimensional, and we'll go on from there and let the DBs do their job. When you do face a new opponent, what's what's the feeling like when you you guys are preparing for them? Is it, you know, is it even more of a reason to pay attention to detail? Um, honestly, it's just getting a feel for them and like what they do because we've played a lot of teams in this conference who are, have the same offense and we kind of know what they do. It's just like seeing what they're going to do and how they're going to come out and compete. For you, you, you've been through a lot here. You've gotten your college degree. You're one of those guys that have already graduated. And, you know, when you sum up your experience here as a Northwestern State Demon, how would you do so? What would you say would describe your time here? I would say that all times wasn't great times. But it was a great experience here, and I'm very grateful for the people that I've seen and been around, and I wouldn't trade this for anything. Like, I, if I was to be in a different position and had to pick this again, I would choose this. Trey, thank you so much. Good luck this week. Yes, sir.